Hey everyone, so I already filmed my fall makeup tutorial. That's why I look like I have the same hair, same shirt, same makeup. It's because I'm filming. I've been filming all day. I'm trying to get these videos up tonight or tomorrow. So, um, so let's get started with my favorites. I have quite a bit. So, let's do this. Okay, so my first favorite are Dell eyelashes. I mean, these are really cheap, but, I mean, you can't really tell, like, I can't tell, but they're so pretty, and these are the ones for cat eye looks. It's small right here. I mean, it's short right here, and it gradually gets longer, and that's perfect for cat eyes because it intensifies that eyeliner look. I mean, that eyeliner cat eye. So, that's that, and it's only, I think, like, three bucks. I'm pretty sure it's three bucks. Three or four dollars. You can get this at Ulta or a drugstore. You can get this at Walmart. I mean, it's cheap. So that's if like I need something right then, and I can't wait for my my eyelashes to come for like shipping because I'm impatient. <laughs> um. So the next thing is my N Y X eyeliner, and this really is waterproof. It really is, and me being a plus sized girl and when I smile my cheeks <laughs> see I don't know if you can see it but when I smile my eyeliner gets smushed so it causes me to have a raccoon eye so I need waterproof um, mascara or waterproof eyeliner and this is waterproof I'm telling you it's from NYX it's black noir um and it's really cheap. I think it's like five bucks maybe. Um, and you can crank it up. You can see it's getting longer. And I like this because you get, I mean it's cheap and you get all that eyeliner. Instead of just getting like, let me see. I went to Ulta one day and I got an eyeliner from Urban Decay. And I only had that much. And it was like 20 bucks. I was like, are you kidding me? Or at least maybe I had more and didn't know, but I didn't really have that much. It was like that much for 20 bucks. And I was like, uh, no. And I'm really cheap. Like, I like bargains and stuff, but you get a lot with this. So that's why I like it. <clears throat> okay, for lipstick, lip gloss, lipstick. This is the Kat Von D Coral Shade. I might have mentioned this in one of my other videos, but I want to mention it again. I love her lipsticks. Um, you do have to reapply it. Um, you have to reapply it. I would apply it like maybe three or four times. Like apply it, wait, then apply it again, wait, then apply it again. But, I mean, I really like it. It's true to its color. And this is the color Beloved. Let me swatch it for you. That's beloved. It's a, it's a pretty coral color. It's got a little bit of red, a red tint to it. It's really pretty. I mean, this is a pretty color for my tan girls out there, my dark skin girls out there. I think this would look gorgeous on you. Um, I really love it. Smooth, it's creamy. I really love that. And another color I like, it's like a nude pink. It's from NYX. It's a soft to matte lip cream. And what is this color called? It's called Milan. And it looks like this. And it really is matte. Let me show you. I mean, the bad thing about this is it's clumpy a little bit so you have to really blend that out on your lips but anyway there's um milan i don't know if you can see that wait which one is it okay it's right here this one i mean the camera's picking up that it's bright pink i think but it's really not it's more like a nude pink but i mean i like the Kat Von D one and I like Anastasia Beverly Hills. But if you want something that's cheap and good, um, the next one. But it does clump a little bit. So you have to blend that out on your lips. 
So another lipstick that I like is, this is a nude. It's from MAC. It's called Brave. And this is the color. Swatch it for you. And this is the lipstick that I used in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial. This looks like her lipstick, the nude one. This is the color. I hope you can see that. But it's one I'm not sure. I don't think I have. But this is the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. First off, I would like to say that my favorite brand ever is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the only reason is because I love her eyebrow products. Um, it's just amazing. And I don't pay anything else expensive except Anastasia Beverly Hills and Kat Von D. But my favorite is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I love their contouring stuff. I love their eyebrow stuff. Their eyeshadows are amazing. They're super, super creamy and pigmented. They're easy to blend. I just love it so much. Oh my god, I can't even tell you. <laughs> That's my Holy Grail product right there. My Holy Grail brand. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, my blush that I've been obsessed about is the Rose oh, Rose Noir. This is from Milani, and it looks like this. Wait, there we go. And it's got gold shimmers to it, and it's like it's like rosy. It's like a rosy, goldish blush. And that's what it looks like. See that? There we go. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. But, yeah, you can definitely see the shimmer. But, I mean, it's beautiful. I, I love it for fall. I mean, um, it goes good with my skin tone. It's just gorgeous. So, my next thing is... The Morphe 35C palette. Mainly because it's cheap for one. And they're really pigmented eyeshadows. I really like... This is my favorite eyeshadow. Right here in this palette. Tutorial makeup look. I used... Um, my fall tutorial makeup look. I used this color right here. If you're wondering. But I really like this palette. I love bright colors for fall. I mean, I just love bright colors. Like, I like to experiment with that stuff. So. Okay. My next thing is, I hope I didn't mention these in my other fall favorites. I don't think I did. I don't think I had these products when I did my other favorites. But this is the Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. And these shades are gorgeous for my fair ladies. Especially this color. It's more of a gray toned color. And I like that for um, pale skin ladies. You want to use a contour that is not too warm. Because if it's too warm it will make you look muddy and dirty. You want to use more like a cool toned contour. And more matte. Because of that shade right there. So. Yes. So for my brushes. Oh wait. Hang on. My other favorite eyeshadows are the Makeup Geek Bitten. Oh my god, I love Makeup Geek so much. Like, this Makeup Geek eyeshadows and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. Oh my god. It's just amazing, and they're so creamy. Like, this is just one swatch right here. One. And this is more like a burgundy color. And it's perfect for fall. Perfect. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And it's like six bucks. It's only six bucks for her eyeshadow. It's just one eyeshadow. Six bucks. That's it. So that's why I love it. And my other eyeshadow that I like is Cranberry by MAC. It's definitely got more. It's got like a coppery brownish color to it. It's got a little bit of purple in it. But this is it right here. I don't know if you can see that but. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so my makeup brushes are that I like for September. And 
is the MAC 275. I like this brush for my brow bone specifically because I can get that highlight right into that brow bone right here. And it helps. And my next brush is the Morphe in 505. Oh my god. Morphe, I love you. Um, this gets really, really good in the crease if you want it to. Or you could go right above that crease. You can go the outer corner. I can just, I can use this for anything basically. That's why I love it. And next is the Sigma E25. It's dirty. I just filmed the fall makeup tutorial. But this is really good for a precise crease. Right in that line right there. That's why I love it. Um, Next brush, my Smudger brush in 508 from Morphe. You can get really good underneath the eye and blend out that eyeliner or dark colors underneath the eye. So, there's that. My next brush is the MAC 20. Really, is my brush right? Oh my god, that's so skanky. <laughs> Sorry. Um, keep it PG-13. Um, so my next brush is the MAC 129. I use this for my blush. That's all I use it for. I love it so much oh my gosh it's just amazing I love it so my next brush I use for bronzer and or blush it's the Sigma F10 it's more thinner than the MAC one this is more puffy poofy than the Sigma one and that's why I use this for blush because it's more poofy and I can get in those areas and blend it out as well on that cheek and I use this because it's thinner for, I use this for contouring bronzer because it's more thinner and you can get in those areas and make it look more natural because it's a brush. And also, if you, I mean, don't worry if you get messy, you can always put translucent powder, you know, baking and just make it a strong line if you want. So my last thing, nope, that's not my last thing. For primer, for face primer, I'm like everywhere. I'm so sorry I'm not organized at all right now. But for my primer, I like the Nivea Men Sensitive um, Post Shape Balm. Nikki Tutorials were making, were make, seriously, <sighs> get it together. Nikki Tutorials recommended this product for a face primer. And it works. I'm telling you, my foundation stays on all day. Like, seriously, I love it. It's amazing. And it doesn't burn my face. I mean, it's for sensitive skin, so that's why I like it. So, my next product is the Georgia and Peach Sweet Tea from Bath and Body Works. Mmm. I love my smells and good stuff. Ugh. I love it. It's so sweet. And it really does taste. It tastes like peaches. It smells like peaches. It's amazing. My other favorite perfume I've been loving recently is the. Um. Crap. What's it called? Really? I can't remember. I think it's Mark Jacobs Daisy. I think so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I only get the small bottle though, the one that's $25 because I ain't got no money for the big bottle. So I just get the small bottle and uh, for special occasions I just spray it. Like if me and my husband go on a date I'll just spray it. And I'll use that. But if it's every day I use the Georgia Sweet Tea and Peach um, at the Body Works Spray. Um, my last product, um, makeup cleanser. This literally melts my makeup off. It gets it all off. That's why I love it. But, um, yep, that's it for my September favorites. I really hope you like this video, and I'm trying to get more videos out there for you guys, and, um, yeah, I hope you like this video, and I love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I love you.